time to boot the Vista. It's time to turn stuff on. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet CD ROM. It's time to test the hard disk. It's time to check the Ah, uh, oh. Well, that worked out great, didn't it? I think we're in trouble. Not so loud. They're going to hear us out there. Quiet, everybody. Dr. Honeydew, can you figure out what went wrong? Right away, Mr. Kermit. Come along, Beaky. Fuzzy, you better get out there and stall. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, uh, ha ha, hiya, 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 hiya. Hey, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the computer. Oh no, not the bear. I thought computers were supposed to make life better, not worse. Hey, come on, guys, I'm trying over here. You're trying over here, too. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, it seems so that we're experiencing uh, a few minor technical difficulties. Ah. Oh, make that a few major technical difficulties. Uh, please stand by. Hey, Rizzo! Yo! Oh, oh, Rizzo, do me a favor. This screen is stuck. Help me open it up all the way, will ya? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yo, Gonzo! Pull on that rope over there. This rope? Yeah. Ah. Oh, sorry. Oh, my head. Oh, what's going on? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, sir. Don't yeah. make you guys mad, please, Rizzo. Uh. Sorry. Rizzle, come back here! Uh -oh. Uh, uh, oh, 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 let's see now, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, did you hear the one about the mouse who left the restaurant? He couldn't pull down the menu. Ah! And... <coughs> Will you stop that? Get out of here. Okay, did you hear the one about the computer? The computer that... <coughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to reboot you. <laughs> Get out of here. Fozzie, Dr. Honeydew is ready now. Oh, yes, sir. Oh. Hey, come in. Hmm? How'd I do? Oh, uh, well, uh... But this is my day job. Uh, no, I do. <gasps> Greetings, patrons of technology. This is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew of Muppet Labs. I'm afraid your copy of the Muppet CD-ROM has been broken into teensy little pieces, and how shall I say it? Well, it's corrupted your entire system. But not to worry. Behold, the Muppet Lab's molecular digitizer. My faithful assistant, Beaker, has willingly volunteered to help me demonstrate this come on, spiffy come on, device. Come here, come on. Now sit tight, Beaky. This shouldn't hurt. Uh, too much. Just sit there quietly. Here we go. Oh. Gee, Doc, is that the way that's supposed to happen? Uh, I, guess, uh, I guess I made a silly mistake. I left the safety on. Oh, dear. <laughs> Say, Rizzo, why don't you be a good little rat and allow me to digitize your molecule? Hey, sure, Doc. Whatever I can do to help you, I'd be glad... What? Huh? Well, wait a minute. Nothing doing. My molecules are happy right where they are. Uh, come back, Rizzo. I'm turning off the safety right now. Get away from me. Nobody scrambles this rat's molecules. Oh, don't worry. You won't feel a thing. Bunsen! B Bunsen, stop this thing! <laughs> I'm trying to, Mr. Kermit. Uh, oh. Hey, come back here. I can't come back. I don't know how it works. Oh, dear. Kermit, where are we? Oh, oh no, don't tell me we're inside the computer. I think we must be inside the computer. I told you not to tell me that. Oh, Kermit, I don't think we're alone in here. Oh, uh, this computer we're trapped inside must belong to you. Hi, ho there. Ooh. This place is a mess. Don't you ever delete files? Fuzzy, now, come on, we have to figure out how we're going to get around down here. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I know. What? Hey, let's take the data bus. Must be an inside joke. Uh, do you have exact change? Exact change? I don't even have pockets. Wow, look at all these controls. Ahead, Warp Factor 1, Mr. Sulu. Where's Bunsen Honeydew when you need him? What, what's that thing that looks like a gear shift? It's a gear shift. Oh. The player can use it to change the level of difficulty. What's that key for? It's the ignition key. You turn it if you want to turn off the bus and leave the game. Gotcha. So, where are we going? Oh, wait a minute. 
How are we going? Well, I think that bitmap on the dashboard may answer both of your questions. The player can click on a location, and we'll be there in seconds. How do you know all this? I read the instruction book. Ah, the frog is smart. And now it's time to match wits with nine of the most <clears throat> dubious celebrities in show business. The Swedish Chef, Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker, Animal, Clifford, Gonzo and Camilla, Rizzo, Statler and Waldo, Miss Piggy, and in our center square, furry, fabulous, funny man, Fozzie Bear. This is the happiest day of my whole life. They're all ready to play... Trivial but True! And now, here's your host, Kermit the Frog. Thank you, thank you. Hi-ho, everybody. Are you ready to play? Okay. The game is played just like basketball, except you're trying to get three X's in a row and you don't wear sneakers, sweat, or talk trash. Hmm, come to think of it, maybe it's more like tic-tac-toe. <laughs> anyway, choose one of our celebrities to answer a question. When you've heard their answer, you decide whether to agree or disagree. Get it right, and X gets the square. But get it wrong, and it gets filled in with an O. Okay, let's get going. All you have to do is click on the stop button and choose a square. Okay, it's time to click on the stop button and choose a square. If I asked you to show me your philtrum, where would you point? A, your refrigerator, B, your face, or C, your car? I knew that guy. You knew who? Phil Trum. He had an act. Phil Trum the Human Drum. Used to smack his head like a drum for hours. It's a great act, but he gets these awful headaches. He can't see straight, he can't hear. Well, why doesn't he stop? What? And give up show business? The answer is B. At least, I hope it is. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Looks like you were fooled that time. O gets the square. If you suffer from triskaidekaphobia, which of these are you afraid of? A, the number 13, B, salty crackers, or C, trucks? Wake up! The frog wants you to answer a question. Hey! Good enough. He says A. <laughs> An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Versions of this game include Mulligan, Shanghai, 51 and Fives, and Killer. Is the game A, Pool, B, Darts, or C, 42-man Ukrainian Squamish? Scientifically speaking, there can be only one answer, and that is A. Me, 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 me. As I said, the answer is B. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. <laughs> Who would be most likely to use a plectrum? A, a rock musician, B, a doctor, or C, a chef? It's B. I'd bet my entire celebrity fungus collection on it. An interesting answer, but is it the right one?
Good answer. X gets the square. Where would you find hydraulic forks? A. On motorcycles, B. On the space shuttle, or C. In computer printers? The answer is D. Next to Miss Piggy's dinner plate. The answer is E. Shoved up the nose of a hook beaked geek. <laughs> An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Kermit is a popular method used for communicating between computers. Was it named after A. Kermit Heffelwhite, the programmer who developed it? B, Kermit University in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, or C, a lovable green star of TV and movies? Oh, that's C. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Sorry, that's not the right answer. The square goes to O. O gets the square. What is a quasi hemi demi semi quaver? Is it A, a musical note, B, a small earthquake, or C, the last six hairs a bald man combs across his head? I believe the answer is A, and you can quote me on that. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. You know what that sound means? Time for the early bird special? Nope. It means X wins the game. Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! I thought this was bowling for weirdos. Hi, guys. <laughs> Rizzo, where are you? Well, I'm out here. Statler and Waldorf are out here somewhere, too. You're not in the computer with us? Nope. <laughs> Funny, ain't it? You see, you guys was trying to digitize me and send me in there, and you ended up in there. <laughs> and I, well, I ended up out here. <laughs> well, I guess the irony is lost on you. <laughs> Just help us get out of here. What, what do I look like, some kind of computer genius? Oh, oh, uh, uh, wait a second. I think I see Dr. Honeydew's notebook. Up dry cleaning, buy milk, eggs. Right, Rizzo, could you get to the important stuff? Okay, let's see. Pick up donuts, big jelly Rizzo. Filled. All right, okay, let's see. Upon premature termination of the program, the corruption of the virtual address space could cause contention with the mutexes and the semaphores. In English, please, Rizzo. <sighs> well, I think I know what happened here, but let me put it in a language I am more familiar with. Picture yourself in a sewer. Yucca. Now see, when our CD-ROM program blew up, it splattered the games and the video clips and multimedia hoo-ha all over the inside of the computer and sort of stuffed up the pipes. So you're going to have to find our games and play them all the way through. That's the only way to clear the clogged data paths. <laughs> you guys are sort of like digital plumbers. <laughs> well, we get the analogy, Rizzo. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, while you're working on that, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to get you guys out of there. Don't we have to find everyone first? Sure. You can do that if you want to. Uh, oh boy, you know, this science stuff puts me right to sleep. I'm gonna take a nap later. <laughs>what what what are all those things on the map? Hmm. Well, I think they might be places in the computer and different pieces of our program. Maybe we should click on something. With what? Hmm, good point. Uh, excuse me out there. Yeah, you uh, yeah, could you give us a hand and click someplace on the bitmap to get us started? Thanks.
If you are, just click the key again to turn it all the way. Or you can click anywhere else on the screen if you want to keep playing. Welcome to the best of the Muppet Show. Well, that's about it for the best of the Muppet Show. We now proudly present the worst of the Muppet Show. <laughs> oh, these clips are so bad that we took the liberty of scrambling them to make them totally unwatchable. <laughs> Actually, they were even unwatchable before we mixed them up. If you can unscramble the image, you win. But you'll be forced to watch the entire clip before you can go. <laughs> <laughs> successfully unscrambled the clip and won the game. Whose side are you on, anyway? <laughs> yeah, better <laughs> luck next time. <laughs> oh. Well, unfortunately, you didn't win the game. But fortunately, you don't have to watch the clip. Good job. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, culture lovers. I'm about to make Daredevil history with the kind assistance of you, my faithful assistant and stunt coordinator. If you adjust the angle of this cannon correctly and measure the proper amount of gunpowder, I will be fired through the air and will sail gracefully through yon target, landing safely on the other side. You may ask, where's the culture? I will do all of this while playing Beethoven's Fifth on the harmonica.
Today, the largest hummingbird on record was sighted. Ah! You were good. I was great. Right. I've got to learn my lines. Well, you only have one line. I do? Exactly. Well, Gonzo, I hate to break this news to you, but the dancing chicken act is out. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, well, somehow, you see, kid, it doesn't fit into the general ambiance of sophistication and classic theater that we try so hard to achieve around here. And now a Muppet News Flash. Here are the results of today's national sheepdog trials. All these sheepdogs have been found not guilty. Line Silver Spring, Maryland. At this very moment, Mr. and Mrs. George Laser of Silver Spring are attempting to break the world's record for overhand refrigerator throwing. <laughs> Here is a Muppet News Flash. Dateline The Muppet Show. An embarrassing situation developed today when the Muppet News reporter accidentally went on camera forgetting to put on his pants. <clears throat> oh, good grief. Welcome again to Muppet Labs, where the future is being made today. How many times has a memory been right on the tip of your tongue? Well, stop looking at the tip of your tongue because Muppet Labs has perfected the Amnesiac 2000, the gadget that takes the hard work out of memories and remembers your treasured moments for you. To join me in demonstrating this new machine, my faithful assistant, Beaker. Remember, Beaker, you're doing this in the name of science. Right now, this machine will cruise the cerebellum, cerebrum, and medulla oblongata of Beaker's moderately complex gray matter. By manipulating the dials in front of you, you can probe the many parts of Beaker's mind, putting his memories in the right order. When you feel you have properly assembled his thoughts, hit the start button, and we'll see what happens. Let's help Beaker remember those ever-popular shrinking pills. Ah, interesting choice. Ah, interesting choice. Ah, interesting choice. Something's about to happen! Oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> Fascinating! Beaker's brain is a mess. He seems to be suffering from severe memory fragmentation. Keep trying. Oh, my. 
my, this is exciting! I could just burst! Me, 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 me! Please continue. My goodness, Beaker's memory seems to be very fragmented. You should try again. Ah, interesting choice. I see, I see. Science history is about to be made. Beaker's brain is a mess. He seems to be suffering from severe memory fragmentation. Keep trying. Hmm. Ah, interesting choice. Ah, interesting choice. Alrighty. Oh my, this is exciting. I could just burst. continue. My goodness, Beaker's memory seems to be very fragmented. You should try again. Please continue. It comes in both regular or housebroken One models. more, one more. Uh, do try to keep him quiet. Beaker. Beaker's memory seems to be okay, but the other half is in pretty sad shape. Notice how easy it is now for Beaker to study that germ. Aren't you just tingly with excitement? Continue. Beaker's brain is a mess. He seems to be suffering from severe memory fragmentation. Keep trying. Not the whole bottle. Vitamins. Hold on to your hats, uh, if you're wearing one, of course. <laughs> oh, oh. Please continue. Hmm, half 
of Beaker's memory seems to be okay, but the other half is in pretty sad shape. Please continue. I hope everyone is strapped in. This could get messy. Interesting choice. Beaker's brain is a mess. He seems to be suffering from severe memory fragmentation. Keep trying. I see, I see. Get ready, everyone. Oh, isn't science grand? Alrighty. Hmm, half of Beaker's memory seems to be okay, but the other half is in pretty sad shape. Not the whole bottle! Interesting choice. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, I guess that's all today from Muppet Labs. <laughs> Everybody hide under the furniture. Something's about to happen. Interesting choice. I'm not sure about the order, but just a few more tweaks and you should have all the pieces you need. It comes in both regular or housebroken one models. More, one more. Uh, do try to keep him quiet. Oh my, this is exciting! I could just burst! Continue. Are you sure you're new at this? You have almost all the right fragments. <gasps> Fascinating. Cholesterol high in vitamins. Get ready, everyone. Oh, isn't science grand? I see, I see. I'm not sure about the order, but just a few more tweaks and you should have all the pieces you need. Vitamins. Okie dokie. Ah, interesting choice. <laughs> and so the atomic elevator shoe. And Hold on to your hats uh, if you're wearing one, of course. <laughs> Oh, 
all righty. Are you sure you're new at this? You have almost all the right fragments. you just tingly with excitement? Many people suffer the embarrassment of being ridiculously tall and spindly. Isn't that right, Beaker? Hmm. But now comes the honeydew shrinking pill. <clears throat> Take one, Beaker. Huh? Not the whole bottle! <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, I guess that's all today from Muppet Labs. So long from Muppet Labs. And as my physics professor used to say... Oh, I seem to have forgotten what he used to say. I hope it wasn't important. Milton Burrow! 20 seconds to curtain. Stand by for makeup. Stand by for what? Makeup! <laughs> Hey, what's happening? It's Clifford, your magenta MC, your homepage homeboy, with a little something I call Scope That Song. You're going to have to guess the titles of three songs. We're only going to play a few notes. How many notes? That's up to fate. Bring on the week. And to help you spin the wheel, the lovely Miss Piggy. This is humiliating. Hey, you think I dig being a game show host? Just get it over with. Here we go, Gonzo. Try to keep a stiff upper nostril. Round and round she goes. How many notes? Nobody knows. for five notes. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it! <laughs> that was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. <laughs> Survey says, no way. Maybe you'll do better next time. <laughs> you can't do any worse, right? <laughs> Survey says, 
No way. Maybe you'll do better next time. <laughs> you can't do any worse, right? <laughs> Survey said, no way. Maybe you'll do better next time. <laughs> you can't do any worse, right? <laughs> Come on back and play again. Peace, baby. Kissy, kissy. Get my agent on the phone right now. This is starting to get painful. <laughs> I hope this game never ends. Round and round she goes. How many notes? Nobody knows. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it. That was sweet. Play it. All right, here comes the next one. Survey said, no way. Maybe you'll do better next time. <laughs> you can't do any worse, right? <laughs> that was sweet. Play it. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand.
Oh, hey guys. Hey, just a quick status report. According to this thing right here, you're doing just fine. For someone who's not a rat, that is. Over and out. <laughs> Oh, 
On your palm, between your lifeline and your heart line, is A, your laugh line, B, your headline, or C, your conga line. Hey, Gonzo, have you ever had your palm red? No, it's always been this color. Ah, that was a good one. Oh, can I use that? Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Good answer. X gets the square. What animal lays the biggest eggs? Is it A, the ostrich, B, the platypus, or C, the whale. It's the bear! Yep, definitely the bear. The bears don't lay eggs. Of course they do. Yeah, we've seen your act! Oh! <laughs> Wake up! The frog wants you to answer a question. Hey! Good enough. He says A. Hey. <laughs> Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? That's right. X takes the square. What's the highest scoring word you can make in Scrabble? A. Bazooka B. Quizzling or C. Zwayback I think we'll see this one's a C. You see? An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Good answer. X gets the square. Why would you use the Vasalva technique? A. To unclog your ears. B. To grow hair on your head. Or C. To clean your Vasalva. Camilla says it's B, and she's no bird brain. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? That's right. X takes the square. How many times can a skunk fire off a smelly squirt before resting? 
A, just one, B, six times, or C, more than a hundred? I have a funny feeling it's B. At least he has something that's funny. <laughs> Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Sorry, that's incorrect. Circle gets the square. How many cookies will the average American eat in a lifetime? Is it A, 1,000 cookies, B, 5,000 cookies, or C, 35,000 cookies? Did you hear about the unhappy baby cookie? Why would a baby cookie be unhappy? Because his mom had been a wafer so long. <laughs> Get it? A wafer? Wafer? Ah! Waka waka! I got this one. It's C. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. You know what that sound means? Time for the early bird special? Nope. It means X wins the game. Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! I thought this was bowling for weirdos. How about those graphics? Yeah, if they were any cheesier, they'd have to serve them up with macaroni. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
spinning wheel. Got to go round. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Make me proud now. Scope that song. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. Not even close. Nah, nah, I'm afraid you got it wrong. I wish we had some lovely parting gifts, but we don't. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. <laughs> All right, here comes the next one. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. <laughs> you got it. You won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. Hey, look, Kermit, a piggy bank. This is no time to make jokes at Miss Piggy's expense. You're right, there'll be plenty of time for that later. I heard that bear. I would like to be a run. Come here, come here, is that boo? Yes, it's me. What are you doing in there, Piggy? Oh, Kermit, it was so terrible. I was using the cash machine to watch some of our most romantic scenes. It was beautiful. Then I bumped that, that, that deposit button down here. The next thing I know, I'm roadkill the information highway. Help me figure out a way to get her out of there, Fozzie. It'll never happen, Kermit. She's stuck in there forever. What do you mean? Have you ever known Piggy to be withdrawn? Never mind. I might be able to take care of this myself. Let me see. Uh, all these buttons over here. Oh, I've got it. Okay, stand back. Hi! -ya! Oh, oh, Kermit, I made it. I made it. I'm so glad you showed up when you did, or I might have been stuck in there for. A... Oh, 
a bus. How quaint. <clears throat> Milton Burrow, 20 seconds of curtain, stand by for makeup. Stand by for what? Makeup! <laughs> Muppet Lab elevator series have their ups and downs. Let's help Beaky remember. The Muppet Lab's elevator shoes have their ups and downs. Let's help Beaky remember. Hauntingly attractive today. Oh, so that's what Bunsonian does. I guess that's all today from Muppet Labs. Aren't you just tingly with excitement? <laughs> ah, interesting choice. Well, well, I thought you had it. Perhaps the order isn't right yet. Good labs. <laughs> Oh, 
Everybody hide under the furniture. Something's about to happen. Muppet Labs. Well, another successful experiment from Muppet Labs, bringing the future to you in delicious little bite-sized morsels. Sometimes I miss the golden age of CD-ROMs. When was that? 1968. There were no CD-ROMs in 1968. That's why I miss it so much. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> won the game, but you've lost the battle. Yeah, you had to watch the clip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey guys, hey, what's going on in there? I'm trying to get you out, but remember, you gotta be together. I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me if there's a fire. <laughs> I know what that audience wants. Yeah, what? Comedy. I think he's gonna need some help out there. Use your cursor to click on the things that look dangerous. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Oh, where'd you get a day job, buddy? Hey, Fuzzy. 
get a day job, man. My mom is watching. Get off the stairs! That audience won't discourage me. I'll be back. But it won't be with that audience. My mom is watching. This is a dream come true. Well, how would you get a day job, buddy? Those are my relatives. Roll the clip. Well, you have to know how to do this. Uh, you gotta be a professional here. You see, what happens with the strings, all you have to do... I'll open with a dancing clown. I'll introduce you. Thank you. Well done, well done. Did you actually like that? No, I'm ordering a steak. Well done! Well done! Makes sense. <laughs> I cannot believe Moi's career has come to this. Spinning a geek on a game show. Spinning wheel. Got to go round. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Can you do it? Can you scope that song? Sorry, guys. You lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. Don't. Uh, don't. Hey. Oh. Here comes the next one. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. That was sweet. Play it. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh, 
Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, ow, ow. Nah, nah, I'm afraid you got it wrong. I wish we had some lovely parting gifts, but we don't. You won the game, but the really good news is that you don't have to hear those songs anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. In an 1840 naval battle, the Uruguayan Navy ran out of ammunition but won the battle anyway. What did they fire at the enemy? A. Chickens B. Dirty laundry or C. Cheese Uruguay, Uruguay. Well, as they say, you go Uruguay and I'll go mine. Ah! <laughs> it's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Where will you find Pludes, Agitrons, Leucaflex, and Blurgets? A. At a zoo? B. At a grocery store? Or C. In a comic strip. Sounds like Gonzo's family reunion to me. Don't be ridiculous. Sheesh, I'm sorry. You should be. The Lucaflex aren't even blood relatives. And I haven't spoken to the Blurgets since that chickens in the hot tub incident at the last reunion. <laughs> that one's easy. It's a C. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. What was the name of the world's first electronic computer? A. Colossus B. Unicom or C. Murray I have a funny feeling it's B. At least he has something that's funny. <laughs> An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Sorry, that's not the right answer. The square goes to O. O gets the square. Which of the following is a respected computer publication? A. Overbite B. Cousin Fred's Computer Digest or C. Dr. Dobbs' Journal of Computer Calisthenics and Orthodontia. These are way too easy. It's A. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Sorry, that's not the right answer. The square goes to O. O gets the square. Which of these was the nickname of a popular home computer in the 1980s? A. The Trash 80 B. The Video Toaster or C. Murray 
I know this one. It's A. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Sorry, that's incorrect. Circle gets a square. Oh. In 1992, a terrible computer virus struck systems across the United States. Did it A. Change all the file names to fake Swedish? B. Insert the words Bunsen was here in files at random? Or C. Play Barry Manilow music? I assure you I've never had anything to do with a computer virus. I did give an electric toaster a case of the sniffles once, but that was purely in the name of science. And I must say it had the most awful effect on the toast. <laughs> Wake up! The frog wants you to answer a question! Hey! Good enough. He says A! <laughs> Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? In 1992, a terrible computer virus struck systems across the United States. Did it A. Change all the file names to fake Swedish? B. Insert the words Bunsen was here in files at random. Or C. Play Barry Manilow music. I assure you I've never had anything to do. Good answer. X gets the square. Which of these toys was originally used as a weapon? A. The pogo stick. B. The yo-yo. Or C, the Etch-a-Sketch? I believe you'll find the answer is B. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. If you had a Muppaphone, what would you do with it? A, make a call. B, Bang it on the head with a small mallet, or C, ask your doctor to remove it. I think A would be a cool answer. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. Looks like your tic-tac-toe tactics triumphed this time. You won the game. Yeah! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing Trivial But True! Why is he thanking them? They should be thanking us! <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. That's the email. You're catching on, Miss Piggy. More I'm surrounded by computer nerds. watching Those are my relatives. Roll the clip. Now you're going to introduce me, right? Uh, no. But Kermit, my mother is in the audience. When do I go on? Uh, when do you go on? You've already been in all the introductions, pigs in space, and everything else. What do you want, star billing? That would be nice. <laughs> Great job. Good work. Now you get to continue. 
terrible job. Bad work. Boo. Hiss, hiss. I will do all of this while playing Verdi's La Traviata on the harmonica. Have you heard the one about the Flying Dutchman? <laughs> Don't worry, I got a better one. Great job! Good work! Now you get to continue! Uh, terrible job! Our edible paper clips were a breakthrough in the edible office supply industry. Let's help Beaker remember them. I hope everyone is strapped in. This could get messy. Alrighty. The machine is working perfectly, and you very nearly have it. There seem to be two fragments that are out of order. Paper clips are delicious, nutritious, and nickel plated. They're handy around the office and they're wonderful as a TV snack. Furthermore, they are absolutely harmless. Vicky and I will see you next time. Until then, remember, as my mother used to say, the only good hypothesis is a proven hypothesis. Spin me nice and fast, Miss Piggy! Feel the burn! Spinning wheel! Got to go round! We're gonna give you eight notes! Make me proud now! Scope that song! Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. You lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. Ow. 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 Yeah. Okay. Get ready for the next song. Ah. Ow. 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 That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Yeah. Okay. Get ready for the next song. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. A plane carrying a load of sports equipment was forced to jettison some of its cargo. Among the items tossed out were 10,000 ping pong balls. <laughs> and one bowling ball. My mom is watching. This is a dream come true. I can meet the challenge. Oh, that is one rough crowd. Does Letterman have this problem? Kermit, roll the tape!
There, now these are the official Charlie Parker Lives Super Cool Sunglasses. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to Groovy Dunn. Oh, oh, will you please tell the band how honored I am? Oh boy, I can't wait to tell Kermit. Kermit! <laughs> I've never seen such a poorly designed game in all my life. Hey, stick around. It's still early. Which of these is a proven difference between men and women? A. Women have one more rib than men. B. Women's hair grows faster than men's. Or C. Women have better memories than men. You forgot one, Kermie. Well, what's that, Miss Piggy? Women don't have a problem committing to a relationship. Unlike some males I could mention, who lure a girl into giving her heart and then toss her aside like an old muckluck. An old muckluck? It is not polite to interrupt a girl when she's laying bare her very soul. Uh, well, why don't you just leave the souls of your mucklucks alone till later and move along with the game? Oh, learn to hit your beard. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Which of the following is illegal in Reykjavik, Iceland? A. Owning a dog. B. Reporting flying saucer sightings. Or C. Selling mushrooms without a license. Seems to me the answer is B. Hey, I rhymed. <laughs> An interesting answer, but is it the right one? That's right. X takes the square. The law requires every Kentucky citizen to do something once a year. What is it? A. Go to church. B. Take a bath. Or C. Sing the state anthem. Any, many, many, mo. Uh, the answer is mo. I, I mean A. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. Which of these contests is held in Saskatchewan? A. Chicken chariot races. B. A rubber band shooting competition. Or C. The National Coyote Wrestling Championship. No problemo. That one's letter B. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. Only one kind of animal other than humans can get a sunburn. Is it A, monkeys, B, pigs, or C, hippos? A, 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 A! It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. Looks like your tic-tac-toe tactics triumphed this time. You won the game! Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing Trivial But True! Bye-bye! 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 Bye! Roll out the notice. The copyright notice is here. Roll out the notice. A really big C in a sphere. Roll out the notice. Copyright 
by 1995. By the company known as Starway, the best code hackers alive. Oh, oh. Roll out the notice, the copyright notice is here. Roll out the notice, a really big CNSP. Roll out the notice, copyright 1995. Known as Starway, the best code hackers alive. Roll out the notice, the copyright notice is here. Roll out the notice, a really big C in the Roll out the notice, copyright 1995. By the company known as Starway, the best code hackers alive. Hey, hey, Mr. The Frog, remember me, Blue Zealand, the boomerang fish thrower? Yeah, I throw these fish away, <laughs> and they come back to me. <laughs> hmm, that one must have got caught in the net. What net? The internet! <laughs> Why didn't I see that coming? Lou! Lou, just get on the bus! And please just leave the fish where you found them. Sorry, Ramona! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> What's the matter, Chef? You afraid we might catch up with you? <laughs> you? you? Hey, don't turn up your nose at me! Come back here! Ah, done. Moi cannot believe Moi's career has come to this, spinning a geek on a game show. Spinning wheel, got to go round. Here comes six notes. Make me proud now, scope that song. Nah, nah, I'm afraid you got it wrong. I wish we had some lovely parting gifts, but we don't. Sorry, guys, you lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them.
Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. Sorry, guys, you lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. You won the game, but the really good news is that you don't have to hear those songs anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. Try to help people remember our famous Muppet Labs hair tonic. Now watch closely. Here is the result of using Muppet hair growing tonic. We should call it hair raising tonic. <laughs> should call it hair raising tonic. Hold on to your hats. Uh, if you're wearing one, of course. <laughs> Now watch closely. Here is the result of using Muppet hair growing tonic. <laughs> Perhaps we should call it hair raising tonic. Another invention brought to you by the incredibly creative minds of Muppet Labs. Remember, we're working harder so we can go home early. Mom is watching.
come through. Oh, that is one rough crowd. Does Letterman have this problem? Come it, roll the tape. Bumps. Wonderful. Gee, except your your uh your bumps for intelligence are very small. What? Yeah. That's okay, okay, I can fix that. You're gonna work, you're gonna yeah. do what? <laughs> you know what I like most about that last game? What's that? The end! Oh! <laughs> the end! <laughs> Those disgusting white stringy things attached to the yolk of an egg are called A. Protense, B. Kulazi, or C. Ferengi. What's so funny, Gonzo? Well, Camilla just told me a chicken joke. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay, why did the chicken cross the playground? Why did the chicken cross the playground? I give up. To get to the other slide. <laughs> <laughs> Spin wheel! Spin wheel! Spin wheel! Well, there's no wheel to spin in this game. Just answer A, B, or C. No wheel? Uh, B. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. Do cats have belly buttons? A. Yes, they do. B. No, they don't. Or C. Nobody knows for sure. I think A would be a cool answer. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? That's right. X takes the square. Some people have dingbats on their computers. What's a dingbat? A, a decorative frame around the screen, B, a small drawing, or C, a simple computer game. We're going to say A. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Good answer. X gets the square. You know what that sound means? Time for the early bird special? Nope. It means X wins the game! Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but True! I thought this was bowling for weirdos. I think you're an incredibly talented human being. I mean, you're a comic genius. Oh, uh, thank you, Gonzo. I love doing this show. Yeah. If your nose weren't so small, you'd probably be a big star like me. I hate doing this show. <laughs> this is Sam. The American Eagle. It has come to my attention that the theft of computer software has become a malfeasance of epidemic proportions. Piracy has no place in the computer industry. As such, I have decided to station myself permanently at this hard drive and maintain a watchful eye. Hey, Sam! Not now, Frog. I am stopping white-collar crime of epic proportions. Do you want to ride out of here or not? Oh, you have a car? Fine. I will leave you on your honor. And remember, piracy is a crime. Yes.
<laughs> of us, the hearties, the hard drive is ours. Aye, there's much copying to be done here, tis sure. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> rum, did you say rum? <laughs> Nice and fast now, Miss Piggy. Deviate that septum. Round and round she goes. How many notes? Nobody knows. You got seven notes. Make me proud now. Scope that song. <laughs> was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. And no way. Nice try, but not even close. Sorry, guys. You lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for him. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. You won the game, but the really good news is that you don't have to hear those songs anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. Congratulations! Yep, you get to continue. On second thought, my deepest condolences. <laughs> <laughs>
You may have won the game, but you've lost the battle. Yeah, you had to watch the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't turn up your nose and Hey, Sheppy, we're gonna make your mouth. You're gonna look like a Hey, I'm uh, making a sandwich out here. Does anybody in there have any Gouda? No, we don't have any Gouda. How about some cheddar? No, we don't have any cheddar. Would you just get us out of here? Testy, testy. Guess someone got up on the wrong side of the hard drive this morning. <laughs> Helps you to remember the Muppet Lab's milking machine. It was a moving experience, so to speak. <laughs> Speaker, you're hauntingly attractive today. Hold on to your hats! Uh, if you're wearing one, of course. <laughs> yes, Kyle is just about sliding into a warm, cozy milking machine on these frosty mornings, don't they, <laughs> Beaker, you're hauntingly attractive today. <laughs> Beaky and I will see you next time. Until then, remember, as my mother used to say, the only good hypothesis is a proven hypothesis. How about those graphics? Yeah, if they were any cheesier, they'd have to serve them up with macaroni. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I will do all of this while playing Mozart's Requiem in D minor on my harmonica. Whoa. Oh, a minor miscalculation, but we'll get it next time. I hope.
It was announced today that unidentified flying objects may indeed exist. Skeptics claim... Whoa! Hey, hey guys! Hey, what's going on in there? I'm trying to get you out, but remember, you got... Those are my relatives. Roll the clip. There has never been or will there ever be a joke this funny. Hey, read it. Go ahead, read it. Uh, yeah. It's not funny. I got a better one. Congratulations! Yep, you get to continue! The Breakstone! Let's see if Beaker can remember when we revolutionized the dairy industry by turning gold to cottage cheese. What'd he do with the gold? Well, he put it right in the machine here. Cholesterol high in vitamins. you just tingly with excitement? <laughs> so, the experiment is complete. What'd he do with the gold? Well, he put it right in the machine here. <laughs> this is cottage. Jeez! Low in cholesterol, high in vitamins. <laughs> well, Vicky, that was one to write mother about, wasn't it? So long from Muppet Labs, a friend from technology cover of LL. Oh, gee. Idiot. Not too fast, Miss Piggy. I'll have you know my nose is insured by Lloyd's of Hackensack. Spinning wheel. Got to go round. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Now, 
Let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, guys. You lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get ready for the next song. Oh, 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 oh. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Oh, 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 ow. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Here comes the next one. Oh, ow. Ow. Oh, ah, ow. Ow, ow, ow. You won the game, but the really good news is that you don't have to hear those songs anymore. Get out of here. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. What does a spermologist do? A. Study sperm whales. B. Collects trivia. Or C. We can't really talk about it here. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Calvin Graham won the Medal of Honor and the Bronze Star for fighting at the Battle of Guadalcanal in 1942. What was strange about that? A. Calvin was a German Shepherd. B. Calvin was back home in Memphis during the battle. Or C. Calvin was only 12 years old at the time. A. 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 An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Good answer. X gets the square. Larry Walters got in trouble with the government for flying in an unusual aircraft. What was it? A. A glider made of dollar bills. B. 
a plane with a rubber band motor, or C, a lawn chair tied to helium-filled balloons. Oh, me, me, me! I quite agree, Beaker. The answer is A. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. You know what that sound means? Time for the early bird special? Nope. It means X wins the game. Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! Au revoir! Kissy kissy! Uh -huh. Oh, my feet are killing me. Oh, uh -huh. ta-ta! In sooth, I know not why I am so sad. It wearies me. You say, sir. Well, I'm rambling, rambling round, I'm a rambling guy. <laughs> Free. <laughs> Ramble out to the Muppet Show, oh yeah. Meet all the Muppets, oh yes, 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 oh no. Well, you successfully unscrambled the clip and won the game. Whose side are you on, anyway? <laughs> yeah, better <laughs> luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> As far as computers are concerned, which do you prefer, hardware or software? Right now, I'd prefer to be elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> What a rowdy crowd. And those are my relatives. Roll the clip. <laughs> uh, uh, Fuzzy, Fuzzy. He won't talk to me. Yeah, well, listen, there's something about ventriloquism that I think you should know. What? Well, you see, Fuzzy, listen, Fuzzy. Hmm? It's the ventriloquist who actually does the talking. He's <laughs> yeah. Does it. Hey, fellas, nothing new to report, but since you're gonna be in there for a little while, I'm gonna grab my boogie board and surf the net. See you later. Kawabunga! <laughs> Oh! 
Let's see if Beaker remembers our discovery of Bunsonium. So that's what Bunsonium does. This is it. Oh, I do so hope everyone is insured. Whoa! I see, I see. The machine is working perfectly, and you very nearly have it. There seem to be two fragments that are out of order. This is it. Oh, I do so hope everyone is insured. Interesting choice. Well, well, I thought you had it. Perhaps the order isn't right yet. So that's what Bunsonium mm -hmm. does. Everybody hide under the furniture! Something's about to happen! Hmm... You have all the pieces. Just move them around a bit, and it will all be as right as rain. Oh, this ought to be good. Alrighty. You have all the pieces. Just move them around a bit and it will all be as right as rain. <laughs> oh, so that's what Bunsonium <laughs> does. Science history is about to be made. Oh, oh. Oh. Fascinating. The memory fragments are right, but you don't seem to have them in the proper order. Hmm. Oh, so that's what Bunsonium <laughs> does. Get ready, everyone. Oh, isn't science grand? <laughs> ah, interesting choice. The memory fragments are right, but you don't seem to have them in the proper order. Hmm. Everybody hide under the furniture! Something's about to happen! <laughs> oh, 
fascinating. You have all the pieces. Just move them around a bit and it will all be as right as rain. Oh my, this is exciting! I could just burst! I see, I see. Scientific history is about to be made. Just make a few more changes. I hope everyone is strapped in. This could get messy. Now, in just a few moments, we shall know exactly what Bunsonium does. <laughs> oh, so that's what Bunsonium does. Well, Vicky, that was one to write Mother about, wasn't it? So long from Muppet Labs, a friend from Technology Kappa Oak. You did it! Yep, we warned you, but you did it anyway! Well, you got what you deserved! <laughs> you had to watch the clip! <laughs> Every one of my contracts has a standard no pigs clause. A no pigs clause? Uh, here we are. It says, I only work with the frog. That's you, right? I uh, check. Uh, the bear and mm -hmm. the ugly, disgusting little one who catches cannonballs. <laughs> That's it. No pigs. I will do all of this while playing Beethoven's Symphony No. 3, the Eroica, on the harmonica. Calculation, but we'll get it next time, I hope. A 
And the guy said, if I could walk that way, I wouldn't need the talcum powder. Ah, I am wonderful. Thank you. Ah, thank you all. Thank you all. This was the very best set I ever did. Nothing could ever ruin it now. Oh, but that comes pretty close. Hey, hey guys, hey, what's going on in there? I'm trying to get you out, but remember, you gotta be together. I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me if there's a fire. <laughs> Nice and fast now, Miss Piggy. Deviate that septum. Round and round she goes. How many notes? Nobody knows. Here comes six notes. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it. That was sweet. Play it. Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. You won the game, but the really good news is that you don't have to hear those songs anymore. Get out of here! <laughs> Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. Seven times two is uh, s -s seventeen. <laughs> oh, let me count that. All right, seven, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Carry the one, eleven, twelve.
I will do all of this while playing The Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky on the harmonica. A minor miscalculation, but we'll get it next time, I hope. Today, the largest hummingbird on record was sighted. Ah! What does a spermologist do? A. Study sperm whales. B. Collects trivia. Or C. We can't really talk. I. B what does a spermologist? What does a sper? What does a spermologist do? A. What does a spermologist do? A. Study sperm whales. B. Collects trivia. Or C. We can't really talk about it here. I believe you'll find the answer is B. Good answer. X gets the square. The biggest one ever built stood 76 feet tall. The biggest what? A. Snowman. B. Birthday card. Or C. Stack of unwashed dishes. B. 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 An interesting answer, but is it the right one? That's right, X takes the square. Which language has the greatest number of words? A, English, B, German, or C, Chinese? Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? That's right. X takes the square. Looks like your tic-tac-toe tactics triumphed this time. You won the game! Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! I thought this was bowling for weirdos. You did it! Yep, we warned you, but you did it anyway! Well, you got what you deserved! <laughs> you had to watch the clip! <laughs> <laughs> ah, the dirty little frass bassett grummel slinger little scrooby rooby well, What's that, Kermit? Hmm, must be the cursor. Ah, I get it! No, I don't.
I will do all of this while playing Mozart Symphony Number no. 40 in G minor on my little harmonica. NASA officials today warned of bizarre falling satellites. <laughs> oh, hi there. We have a minor problem. While you were away, one of our data paths sort of, well, it closed. Right. Yeah. So um, now we have to find an alternate route. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. Or uh, what? Another data path closed? No, I can't pull up the map. <laughs> ah! The biggest one ever built stood 76 feet tall. The biggest what? A. Snowman. B. Birthday card. Or C. Stack of unwashed dishes. Any, many, many, mo. Uh, the answer is mo. I, I mean A. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Good answer. X gets the square. <laughs> Ninety percent of these who have ever lived are alive today. Is it ninety percent of A. Scientists, B. Government employees, or C. Talking frogs? Piece of cake! The answer's B! An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done! We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. What's used to flavor a Chinese dish called bird's nest soup? A. Eggs B. Straw or C. Bird's nests me, me, me. I quite agree, Beaker. The answer is A. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. Well, look at that. You won the game. An excellent exhibition of extraordinary expertise. Who wound him up? Beats me. That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! Au revoir! Kissy kissy! Uh -huh. Oh, my feet are killing me. Oh, uh -huh. ta-ta! We've got good news and bad news. You won the game, and you get to continue. And the bad news? It was the bad news. Oh! <laughs> 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 Well, you successfully unscrambled the clip and won the game. Huh? <laughs> we 
Christine. Let me have this here. Mm -hmm. I will shoot the blunderfoot in mm -hmm. here. One, two, one, two. inside these monitors. Hmm, it um, beats me. Hmm. Come at! You're in black and white! I am. Yeah, of course, it doesn't surprise me. You always said it's not easy being green. Ah! Fuzzy, huh? come on over here. We need to stay together. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Come at. What? I'm stuck. Oh, help me. Uh, push. Okay. Uh, don't, don't, don't push. Don't what? push. Pull, pull. Oh, okay, pull. okay. Uh, On three? Yeah. One. Two. <laughs> Uh, Fozzie, come on, stop clowning around, huh? Yo, Fozzie, you look good in high res. <laughs> I do. Mm. All right, Clifford, listen, I'm glad we found you. Let's go, guys, the bus is waiting. Mm. But come on, uh, do I have to go so soon? I'm in high res. Fozzie, come on. We're coming, Kerm. Hey, Clifford, Clifford, does this high res stuff make you funnier? Man, nothing could make you funnier. <laughs> Thank you. What's the matter, Chef? You afraid we might catch up with you? Done. Hey, hey guys, hey, what's going on in there? I'm trying to get you out, but remember. Get off the stage! Huh, and the pies weren't even coconut cream. It's a good thing I keep a pre-recorded routine for such emergencies. 
Roll the tape. I can see in your future. Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, you will have a stiff neck. <laughs> Is going to easily bring the leg around to the front. You did not feel that link. Oh, no, no. Well, you successfully unscrambled the. Five o'clock and all's well. <laughs> Five o'clock and all's well, except that Maid Marion has been kidnapped. The sheriff's up to no good. That dog is stealing the cheese. Kermit's mad at Piggy, and it's really only 4.30. Hold on a second. Let me, let me make one little change here. Okay, I'll sing. <laughs> yes, sir. And I, I don't feel that we, we should <laughs> let, um, let uh, temporary or, or personal considerations stand in, in, in the way. Uh, how, how do you feel about that animal? Nice and fast now, Miss Piggy. Deviate that septum. Round and round she goes. How many notes? Nobody knows. Here come six notes. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it.
Sorry, guys. You lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. <laughs> Survey said, no way. Maybe you'll do better next time. <laughs> you can't do any worse, right? <laughs> you won the game. But the really good news is that you don't have to hear those songs anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> you got it. You won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. That was an incredibly painful and uncomfortable experience. Uh, then I guess you want to get right on the bus. No, I want to do it again. The memory of our beloved Muppet Lab's nose warmer is buried in Beaker's brain somewhere. Let's help him dig it out. <laughs> and there's Beaker with a nut. <laughs> and now with the nose warmer in place, we have only to turn on the electricity. <laughs> 
You really should stop smoking, Beaker. It's very bad for your health. Aren't you just tingly with excitement? And now with the nose warmer in place, we have only to turn on the electricity. And there's Beaker with a nice, toasty, warm nose. You really should stop smoking, Beaker. It's very bad for your health. We'll see you next time. By then, Beaker will have stepped off the side effects of the experiment. For Muppet Labs, this is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, LMNOP. Good day and happy science. Hey, Kermit, there's somebody on the other side of the screen. Gonzo, that person is helping us find our way. Well, who's helping them? Gonzo, come on, let's get on the bus. This is starting to get painful. <laughs> I hope this game never ends. Spinning wheel. Got to go round. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it. That was sweet. Play it. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. Sorry, guys, you lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. All right, here comes the next one. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. <laughs> You got it. You won.
won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. You know that computer saying, garbage in, garbage out? Yeah. Mm. Whoever made that up must have seen this program. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Those are my relatives. Roll the clip. Come it, come it, come it. Hey, why did the chickens cross the road? Because an angry Swede was chasing them with a cleaver. <laughs> That's not it. Hey, wait. Yours is better. won the game, but you've lost the battle. I've never seen such a poorly designed game in all my life. Hey, stick around. It's still early. <laughs> <laughs> I will do all of this while playing lists on Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two on the harmonica.
this calculation, but we'll get it next time. I hope. to the old drawing board. Ow! I think I may have broken something. Hey, cool! <laughs> NASA officials today warned of bizarre falling satellites. <laughs> Congratulations! Yep, you get to continue! On second thought, my deepest condolences. <laughs> animal, animal! Ah. Animal, stop! Ah. Stop playing! Ah. Stop playing! The Stop playing the drums! Come on. Come back! Hi! 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 What? Hi! Nice and fast now, Miss Piggy. Deviate that septum. Spinning wheel. Got to go round. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Can you do it? Can you scope that song? <laughs> That was sweet. Play it. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. <laughs> That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. <laughs> You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. <laughs> you got it. You won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? 
It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. watching. Are you feeling okay? Why? Well, you, you look kind of green. I'm always green. Well, how do you know when you're sick? Uh, come on, Miss Piggy. It's time to go. Any minute, Jimmy. Voodoo wants me to look beautiful, don't you? Uh -huh. Sure he does, but he can't wait that long. <laughs> we'll see how long you have to wait for a new face. Geek? Excuse me. Sometimes I miss the golden age of CD-ROMs. And when was that? 1968. There were no CD-ROMs in 1968. That's why I miss it so much. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I will do all of this while playing Box Brandenburg Concerto Number Six on the harmonica. It's a bird. It's a plane. Ah. It's, it's Super, Super Geek. Geek. Oh. Are we there yet? No, stop asking that. The German lodger never quite caught on. Well, let's help Beaky remember it. <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> now, watch what happens when Beaker adds one drop of German lodger. for Beaker to study that germ. Oh, this ought to be good. Intriguing. Oh, the machine is working perfectly and you very nearly have it. There seem to be two fragments that are out of order. Oh my, this is exciting! I could just burst! Whoa! 
I see, I see. Well, well, I thought you had it. Perhaps the order isn't right yet. Hold on to your hats! Uh, if you're wearing one, of course. <laughs> you had it. Perhaps the order isn't right yet. Aren't you just tingly with excitement? <gasps> Fascinating! Scientific history is about to be made. Just make a few more changes. This is it. Oh, I do so hope everyone is insured. Here in this dish is isolated a sample of the deadly germ Streptococcus yucotherium. Now, watch what happens when Beaker adds one drop of germ enlarger. Notice how easy it is now for Beaker to study that germ. And vice versa. That's all for now from Muppet Labs. Well, Beaker... That was one to write mother about, wasn't it? So long from Muppet Labs, a friend from technology cup of oak. Oh well. Oh gee. Hey, Kermit! There's somebody on the other side of this screen. Gonzo, that person is helping us find our way. Well, who's helping them? Gonzo, come on, let's get on the bus. and bring in the love story set. But if we did that, Kermit would fire us. <laughs> would you rather be fired or dismembered? <laughs> Dude, dismembered sounds like fun. <laughs> One too many times. Well, you may be Swedish, but you see what it's like to be French. French fried. Oof! Stop pushing me! Hey guys, could you cut it out back there, please? Sorry. where we are, but wherever that is, we're here. Computer-generated ivy? Wow, this must be the university. What university? You know, CPU. Get it? CPU? University? Ah, I am terrific! Ah! 
Something seems to be going on over in the science lab, Fozzie. I'm sorry, Beaky. I seem to have put way too much carbonation in your soda pop. Climb on the bus, you two. A data bus? How marvelous. Uh, come along, Beaky. Come along. <laughs> Moi cannot believe Moi's career has come to this. Spinning a geek on a game show. Round and round she goes. How many notes? Nobody knows. Here come six notes. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it. Sorry, guys, you lost the pool. They got it right. <laughs> Play it for them. Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. <laughs> you got it. You won the game. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. Oh, hi there. We have a minor problem. While you were away, one of our data paths sort of, well... It closed. Right. Yeah. So um, now we have to find an alternate route. Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Or what, another day? Jim Henson puppets and all their names are trademarks, of course, and highly enforced. Owned by Jim.
Jim Henson production, you see. So please don't infringe on them, please. Their reputation is rightly deserved. And all rights are reserved. Reservation, please, where You may have won the game, but... Beaker, you're standing next to one of those newfangled processor chips. No, it doesn't seem to be defective, does it? Why don't you take a closer look, Beaker? Oh dear, and I forgot my marshmallows. What I'm carrying the fish for. Oh, Fuzzy, what are you carrying the fish for? Oh, just for the halibut. <laughs> What's that over there? Why, that's the power supply. Oh, I love them. They're the ones who sing all out of love, right? Unable to connect. Unable to connect. Hey, Chef. I'm glad we found you. Hop aboard. Beaker. I know she sounds attractive, but we really must get going.
Okay. Lou Zealand is an unusual performer, and that's really saying something. Does he A. Swallow swordfish, B. Throw boomerang fish, or C. Juggle cats? A! 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 Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Rudolf Nureyev once danced a ballet on our show, or at least he tried to. What was the name of that ballet? A. The Gutcracker B. A Midsummer Night's Scream or C. Swine Lake I remember reading about this in Weirdos Monthly. The answer is C. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. When Jean Stapleton was a guest on our show, she played an unusual musical instrument. Was it A, the explodophone, B, the slide trombone, or C, the kazoom? I believe the answer is A, and you can quote me on that. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Good answer. X gets the square. Well, look at that. You won the game. An excellent exhibition of extraordinary expertise. Who wound him up? Beats me. That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! I thought this was bowling for weirdos. On Wall Street today, commodity experts were amazed as beef fell dramatically. Oh no! I will do all of this while playing Brahms Symphony Number no. 4 on the harmonica. Waka, waka, waka. And now, my world's famous hatchet. Ah! Oh! That is not what happened last time. This thing happens to all writers. This does? Sure, it's what's called writer's block. Oh, 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 yes. you, know, you know where you can't come up with the next line. Yes, well, I, uh, I can't come up with the next line. No, oh, well, maybe I can help. Mm. Let me see what you last wrote here. Stop! Are we there yet? No, stop asking that.
Let's help Beagle recall the scientific breakthrough of the automatic wastebasket. And we'll send you a Muppet wastebasket. Just imagine never having to empty a wastebasket again. Order your wastebasket today. It comes in both regular or housebroken want models. More, want more. Uh, do try to keep him quiet. Or send us thirty-two ninety-five, and we won't. It comes in both regular or housebroken want models. More, want more. Uh, do try to keep him quiet. Send you a Muppet wastebasket. Just imagine never having to empty a wastebasket again. Order your wastebasket today. I'll send you a Muppet wastebasket. It comes in both regular or housebroken want models. More, want more. Uh, do try to keep him quiet. Aren't you just tingly with excitement? Imagine never having to empty a wastebasket again. Order your wastebasket today. It comes in both regular or housebroken want models. More, want more. Uh, do try to keep him quiet, please. Send us, send us twenty-two ninety-five, and we'll send you a Muppet wastebasket. Uh, or uh, send us thirty-two ninety-five, and we won't. See you next time. This is Bunting Honeydew, QED, for Muppet Labs, where we meet each challenge with a fresh box of donuts. Masters one too many times. Uh, you may be Swedish, but you see what it's like to be French. Ah, <laughs> died. <laughs> Are we there yet? No, stop asking that. I will do all of this while playing Haydn's Symphony No. 104 in D major on the harmonica. It's a bird! It's a plane! Ah. It's Super Geek! <laughs> Let's see. 
see if Deaky can remember the Muppet Lab's sledgehammer. you just tingly with excitement? <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, the machine is working perfectly and you very nearly have it. There seem to be two fragments that are out of order. Science history is about to be made. <laughs> Please continue. Well, well, I thought you had it. Perhaps the order isn't right yet. I hope everyone is strapped in. This could get messy. Now, when I plug the machine in, you press the start button and we'll drive this stubborn old nail to kingdom come. Go. Oh dear. Oh, thank you, Beaker. Now you've broken it. No, he hasn't. Join Beaker and I next time when we answer the burning scientific question. If a tree falls on Beaker in the middle of the forest and no one is there to hear it, will it actually hurt? Hey, fellas, nothing new to report, but since you're going to be in there for a little while... Not too fast, Miss Piggy. I'll have you know my nose is insured by Lloyd's of Hackensack. Spinning wheel. Got to go round. Nine notes. Let's make them good ones. Make me proud now. Scope that song. Survey says, no way. Maybe you'll do better next time. <laughs> you can't do any worse, right? <laughs> that was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. All right. Here comes the next one. Oh, <laughs> 
That was sweet. Play it. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. <laughs> Not even close. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. The Museum of Modern Art in New York made a big mistake with a Matisse painting. What did they do with it? A. Threw it away in the garbage. B. Hung it upside down for 47 days. Or C. Painted a Do Not Enter sign over it. The answer is B, as in beautiful. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? That's right. X takes the square. In 1994, billion dollar Bill Gates, chairman of Microsoft, got married. Did he marry A, a rock singer, B, a marketing executive, or C, a computer programmer? <gasps> Billy got married? No wonder he doesn't call me anymore. <laughs> After cogitating profoundly on the matter, I would have to say B. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. Which of these things was not included in the time capsule buried at New York's 1964 World's Fair? A. A bikini. B. A pack of cigarettes. Or C. A picture of me. Any, many, many more. Oh, the answer is mo. I, I mean A. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? That's right. X takes the square. Looks like your tic-tac-toe tactics triumphed this time. You won the game! Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! Au revoir! Kissy kissy! Uh -huh. Oh, my feet are killing me. Oh, uh -huh. ta-ta!
Chiqui, chiqui, chiqui. Oh, ok. You may have won the game, but you've lost the battle. Yeah, you had to watch the clip. <laughs> Let me guess. That's the email. You're catching on, Miss Piggy. More I'm surrounded by computer nerds. Hey, hey, Mr. The Frog! This is Sam. What a rowdy crowd. And those are my relatives. Roll the clip! Guy walks into to a diner. There's a horse behind the counter. The guy just looks at the horse. The horse says, What's the matter? Surprised to see me here? And the guy says, Yeah! Did the cow sell the place? Ah! You know that computer saying, garbage in, garbage out? Yeah. Mm. Muppet Lab's copying machine was a scientific first. Let's help Beaky remember. you just tingly with excitement? What a sad day it is, too, for Beaker, my fickle and wayward assistant, has gone missing. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to demonstrate Muppet Lab's new copying machine a la carte. doing in there? If you've broken that machine, I shall have to dock your salary. You'll be yourself. Another invention. 
invention brought to you by the incredibly creative minds of Muppet Labs. Remember, we're working harder so we can go home earlier. We've got good news and bad news. You I will do all of this while playing Ravel's Bolero on the harmonica. Waka waka waka! And now, my world's famous hat stick! Ah! My mom is watching. Rowdy crowd, and those are my relatives. Roll the clip. You guys are not cavorting right. This is the proper way to cavort. <clears throat> cavort, 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 cavort. You got that? Cavort like that? You got it? Animal bowls overhand. <laughs> you may have won the game, but... Will we get out of here in time for the 4th of July? I don't know, Sam. Moi cannot believe Moi's career has come to this, spinning a geek on a game show. Spinning wheel, got to go round.
we're going to give you eight notes. Can you do it? Can you scope that song? That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Yeah! Okay, get ready for the next song. even close. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. <laughs> All right, here comes the next one. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. <laughs> Why am I getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. The nuclear saver was one of our greatest inventions. Let's help Beaker remember. He will wear this protective helmet, which is... <laughs> Notice how effective the lead helmet is. <sighs> Made of solid lead. Bend over, Beaker, here. Come on, hurry up, bend over. Everybody hide under the furniture. Something's about to happen. Now, in order to protect Beaker's fluffy orange hair from nuclear fallout, he will wear this protective helmet, which is made of solid lead. Bend over, Beaker, here. Come on. Hurry up, bend over. There. All right, up you go, Beaker. Now Beaker is ready for the demonstration. Notice how effective the lead helmet is. 
We'll see you next time. By then, Beaker will have stepped off the side effects of the experiment. For Muppet Labs, this is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, LMNOP. Good day and happy science. I will do all of this while playing Genius La Boheme on the harmonica. Have you heard the one about the Flying Dutchman? <laughs> Don't worry, I got a better one. Oof! Stop pushing me! Uh, hey guys, could you cut it out back there, please? Sorry. What was the first American television series to film an episode in China? A. Meet the Press B. Sesame Street or C. The Love Boat The bear knows the answer. It's A. No, no, no. B. Yes. C. Positively. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Good answer. X gets the square. Everybody knows the expression, but who was the real McCoy? A. A farmer. B. A boxing champion. Or C. The doctor on Star Trek. The answer is B, as in beautiful. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. What was the name of the band on our show? A. Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem B. Dr. Teeth and the Rampant Decay or C. Floyd and the Noids I believe the answer is A, and you can quote me on that. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? That's right. X takes the square. Looks like your tic-tac-toe tactics triumphed this time. You won the game! Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! Why is he thanking them? They should be thanking us! Ah, the dirty little frasbessid grumble slinger little scrooby ruby well, ripper. What's that, Kermit? Since 1966, Michelle Latito has done something amazing with 10 bicycles, 6 chandeliers, and a computer. Did he A. Juggle them, B. Surf on them, or C. Eat them? The answer is C, mon chéri. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. How fast do the fastest roller coasters travel? A. 20 miles an hour. B. 45 miles an hour. Or C. 
70 miles an hour. My cousin Murray used to work as a roller coaster driver in Coney Island. Was it a good job? It had its ups and downs. <laughs> Listen, I think it's A, but if you've got a better idea, go right ahead. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. On your palm, between your lifeline and your heart line, is A, your laugh line, B, your headline, or C, your conga line. Hey, Gonzo. Have you ever had your palm red? No, it's always been this color. Ah, that was a good one. Oh, can I use that? Seems to me the answer is B. Hey, I rhymed. <laughs> Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? That's right. X takes the square. Well, look at that. You won the game. An excellent exhibition of extraordinary expertise. Who wound him up? Beats me. That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing... Trivial but true! Bye-bye. Say it now, and it's clearly stated. The characters in this are all created. Any likeness to persons living or dead is coincidental, as we earlier said. Fictional, fictional. The characters here are fictional. Word. Perfect man. <laughs> <laughs> rat, rat, yeah. <laughs> Relax now. Control yourself. The white eternal light is penetrating your temple, going down through your body and coming out your toes. Relax. Well, you successfully unscrambled the... Let me guess. That's the email. You're catching on, Miss Piggy. Where would you look for aglets? A. At the end of your shoelaces. B. In an eagle's nest. Or C. On your computer keyboard. The answer is B, as in beautiful. An interesting answer, but is it the right one? That's right. X takes the square. <laughs> In 1943, the United States Army Air Corps invested $2 million to develop a new weapon. What was it? A. The battery-powered slingshot. B. The watermelon grenade. Or C. The bat bomb. I got this one. It's C. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. Thank <laughs> you.
What's the motto of the U.S. Postal Service? A. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. B. Certainty, security, and celerity. Or C. The post office always gets its mailman. Or D. Don't get me disgruntled and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> the answer is A. I'm not a cluck. That's the answer. Oh. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. What do the letters M and M in M&M's candy stand for? A. Melts in your mouth. B. Minneapolis and Minnesota. Or C, Mars and Murray. It's C, the same as the grade I'd give to this whole game. Oh! <laughs> An interesting answer, but is it the right one? That's right, X takes the square. You know what that sound means? Time for the early bird special? Nope, it means X wins the game. Yay! That's all for now. Bye-bye. Which of these was included in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's toughest tongue twister? Oh boy. Uh, A. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. B. Twix six thick thumbs stick six thick sticks. Or C. The six thick sheep six sheep sick. I want to talk to the guy who wrote this question after the show. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, the answer is C. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Good answer. X gets the square. What can't you do with your eyes open? A. Sing a high C. B. Sneeze. Or C. Peel a rutabaga. We know the answer. Yeah, it's watch the Muppet CD-ROM. Can't do that with your eyes open. It's just too painful. Oh! <laughs> Even the bear could get that one right. Oh! <laughs> it's A. Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. A new word, bushusuru, entered the Japanese language in honor of former President George Bush. What does bushusuru mean? A. A well-dressed American. B. A politician who isn't re-elected. Or C. To throw up. A! 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 Here's your chance to put an X on the board. Do you agree or disagree? Nicely done. We'll put your X in the square and move along to the next question. How did the Brooklyn Dodgers get their name? A. The players had to dodge stuff that the fans threw at them. B. Most of the players were draft dodgers. Or C. People who live in Brooklyn were nicknamed trolley dodgers. It's up to you now. Do you agree or disagree with that answer? That's right. X takes the square. You know what that sound means? Time for the early bird special? Nope. It means X wins the game. Yay! That's all for now. So long and thanks for playing. How about those graphics? Yeah, if they were any cheesier, they...
What's the matter, Chef? You afraid we might catch up with you? <laughs> Who wants a dull banana? Let's help Beaky remember our banana sharpener. bananas on any convenient vertical surface. Forever to dull bananas. Bye -bye. <laughs> With this equipment, you can store bananas on any convenient vertical surface. <laughs> you can even store a whole bunch this way. <laughs> Mickey and I will see you next time. Until then, remember, as my mother used to say, the only good hypothesis is a proven hypothesis. Oof! Stop pushing me! Hey guys, could you cut it out back there, please? Stop. I will do all of this whilst playing Bach's Passion of St. Matthew on the harmonica. But we'll get it next time, I hope. Today, the legendary swallows broke with tradition and began their famous return to Capistrano. Be sure to steer clear of the scuzzy port, Fozzie. I just knew this computer would be disgusting. Sounds like a photo opportunity. Somebody grab my camera.
Nice and fast now, Miss Piggy. Deviate that septum. Just watch that wheel spin. It's a happening thing. You got seven notes. Now, let's see if you can scope that song. Kick it. And no way. Nice try, but not even close. That was sweet. Play it. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. That was one fine performance. On your part, that is. The choice of songs could be funkier, but what do you expect, man? This is the Muppets. <laughs> uh, do some more. Okay, get ready for the next one. Here it comes. You want the ticket out of here? Adios, baby. Getting so excited about it? It's a game show host thing, man. You wouldn't understand. Let's help people remember that old favorite of mine, fireproof paper. From this Muppet Lab's new answer to the energy crisis, flammable water. <laughs> the fireproof paper in this basket.
hope everyone is strapped in. This could get messy. Okey-dokey. Oh, the machine is working perfectly, and you very nearly have it. There seem to be two fragments that are out of order. Aren't you just tingly with excitement? Here is my assistant beaker carrying a lighted blowtorch. He will now show you how impossible it is to ignite the fireproof paper in this basket. There is no way this paper can burn. With Muppet's fireproof paper, you will always feel secure. Tune in next time and witness Muppet Lab's new answer to the energy crisis, flammable water. That's all for now from Muppet Labs. Until next time, this is Punson Honeydew, RSVP, for Muppet Labs, where we're working around the clock. Great job! Good work! Now you get to continue! Hey, Sheppy, we're gonna make you melt. You're gonna look like a Swiss cheese. Come on, come and get us. This time my yoke's on you. Ah, <laughs> done. What's that over there? Why, that's the power supply. Why? Oh, what you gonna say, job, buddy? Hey, fuzzy! Get a day job, man! I hope my mom is watching! Get off the stage! This is a dream! What a rowdy crowd! And those are my relatives! Roll the clip! How? I just okay. please, can we talk about this? Whoa! Whoa! Um, Whoa! Something more important has just come up, Patrol Bear. I want you to release Patrol Bear. Uh, would you release that prisoner, please? Shams, remember us? We're crude. Yeah, we're crudity. Get ready to dip. Ah, done.
But I'm a woman first. Wrong. You're a pig first. <laughs> Nurse second. I don't think woman made the top ten. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you insured? Why? Well, if you're not, that makes you an unindemnified flying object. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, what are you doing just sitting around there for? You did it. You connected everything. I'll beam you out of there. Oh, but first, I'm just going to get a sandwich. Well, my blood sugar's a little low, and I shouldn't be operating any heavy machinery. <laughs> Rizzo! All right, okay, take it easy. I'll get you out now. Okay, everybody, say Limboiga! <laughs> We did it! Good work, everybody! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hmm, do you think we can safely run the program now? Oh, indubitably, Mr. Kermit. Uh, I think. All right, let's do it! Uh, okay, everybody. Uh, we're ready to start here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Quiet! Thank you. Hmm. Okay, everybody. Now, this is our first CD-ROM, so let's make it really good. Oh, and, uh, Gonzo, you're a little late on your entrance. Got it. Uh, Robin, you were a little flat. Sorry, Uncle Kermit. Uh, and Miss Piggy? What? Uh, don't change a thing. Oh, I thank you, Kermit. Started. Why, Why not? not? Because we're done. It's the end. The game is over. It's time to end our program. We're glad we made a friend. We hope. We hope to see you shortly. We hope to see you shortly. We hope to see you shortly. We hope to see you shortly on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational. When you play the Muppet CD Didn't think I could do it, did you? Okay, guys, let's shut things down. Uh, and let's leave their computer the way we found it, please. All right, more am out of here. Okay, Bernie, what do you got for me? Another CD-ROM? Oh, no way. Come on, Bernie, people may buy those things, but nobody ever plays them through to the end. And if I shoot a scene, I want people... Ooh, well, almost nobody. Where's my limo? You know, there's times when I really enjoy my work. Really? Yeah, but this isn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. Oh, 
is this thing anyway? It's multimedia. Well, what does that mean? It means the Muppets can stink in more than one medium at a time. How about those graphics? Yeah, if they were any cheesier, they'd have to serve them up with macaroni! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I miss the golden age of CD-ROMs. And when was that? 1968. There were no CD-ROMs in 1968. That's why I miss it so much. <laughs> <laughs> They call this a disc? I've slipped better discs than this one. <laughs> <laughs> As far as computers are concerned, which do you prefer, hardware or software? Right now, I'd prefer to be elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You know that computer saying, garbage in, garbage out? Yeah. Hmm. Whoever made that up must have seen this program. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a floppy disk? Hey, at our age, everything is floppy. Oh! <laughs> He's right, you know. Mm.